Brennan will check back in with you soon. Well, prices of homes, grocery items, and even gasoline have all risen as a result of inflation, but the impact has also carried over into the auto shop market. 23 ABC's Brianna Polk joins us live in studio with ways to go about buying a vehicle during this time, but also what to be on the lookout for when undergoing that large transaction. Brianna. That's right, Keely. Well, as we find ourselves in the midst of inflation, low inventories have driven sticker prices high and the actual prices people pay for new cars even higher. Quite frankly, it's a very challenging time to purchase a vehicle. Um, if you're in a situation where you have to buy a vehicle, then yes, you have to buy a vehicle, but it's tough out there. Uh, that's because there's record high prices for both new and used cars. And if you can wrap your head around this, the, the average cost of a new car is just went over $47,000. Matt Deegan, editor at Kelly Blue Book, adds that supply chain issues are heavily affecting the prices of vehicles. He says that one of the reasons new car prices are so high is due to the microchip shortage. Without those, new cars can't be built, which constrains the choices consumers have. This, of course, leads more people to use cars, which you guessed it, makes prices on the rise. We don't expect prices to go down anytime soon. Uh, so just be aware that it's challenging. There's there's limited inventory, so you may not get the exact uh, features you want, the exact color you want. You just be flexible. But be aware. Ethnic Media Service stated that car buyers can lose thousands of dollars if they're not careful in making the transaction, from misleading ads and deceptive sale pitches to the small print in the contract. Deegan tells 23ABC that people should be proactive even before stepping foot on a dealership lot. Research, research, research. Uh, knowledge really will be, you know, your friend here. So, uh, you know, Go to a site like kbb.com, get all the all the facts and figures that you can to, uh, you know, be smart about your car purchase long before you walk onto a dealership lot. You know, know, know a car that's going to meet your needs, uh, you know, not just now, but also in the future. I mean, if, if you're planning to have a family, you know, now is probably not the time to get that that two door coupe. So kind of plan for, for just not just now, but also the years ahead. Deegan adds that another way to get through the car purchasing process is simple, yet an important tactic all buyers should be mindful of. Budget, I mean, that we can't, we can't emphasize this enough, you know, especially in these times where prices of gasoline are rising, prices of everything are rising. So, so keep all of that in mind and, you know, <laughs> try to spend below your limit. Now, according to Cox Automotive, a parent company of Kelly Blue Book, America's car dealers ended October of 2021 with over 950,000 new vehicles in stock. But that number still is just 36% of what dealers had in stock just over a year ago. Live in studio, Brianna Polk, 23ABC News, connecting you.